Hi everybody, I'm Todd and I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to take a look at a brand new streaming application that lets you send high quality audio from your DAW to someone else in a remote location on their DAW. They can send audio back to you. You can collaborate back and forth. Let's check this out. Now Wavestream is very simple to use. It is a plugin for send and a plugin for receive. So whichever side you're on, you put the appropriate plugin on a track, bus, even the master, and you can go ahead and send audio back and forth. Now it'll also let you send audio to an iPhone so you can listen remotely on that, play it through a car, a lot of applications here. But if you do any kind of collaboration, whether it's recording with session musicians or you're the session musician, or you're doing mix and you want to have someone listen on the other end, maybe your client, an artist listening to the mix you're preparing in real time, you can do that too. Let's check out the setup and also I'll give you a demonstration of the audio quality. Now, one of the things I really like about the stream application is how easy it is to set up. So here I just have four stems. And if I was going to send this to a client, I wanted them to listen to it. Um, if it was a full mix, I could let them listen while I'm mixing. And so I muted the uh, vocals here. I just have instrumentals. But um, basically, all we need to do is go into the inserts here on the master bus. Or you could create a separate mix bus and put it there too. I'm just going to show you this way because it's fast. And stream. And we're going to go send stereo. And what we now have is the ability to send out on uh, anything that's coming through this bus. And all we need to do is click the power button. It's going to create the stream. It gives us a URL and a QR code. We can email that URL to anybody. They can bring it up on a phone, a tablet, or if they want to have it in another DAW, what can happen is we can actually um, have it inserted as a receive on a track on a remote DAW. I'm going to do it here all on one just so you can see this uh, all in one spot. So I'm going to add a track here. I've called it Stream Return. And what I'm going to do is add up the Waves Stream Receive plugin. And again, I'm going to use stereo because this is stereo that I'm sending out here right now. And I'll move this over to the side here a little bit. Now I'll pin that. And so all I need to do is if someone has sent me the link from this, uh, from the uh, uh, the stream out, I'll click on it here and I'll just copy it over. What will happen is they will make a connection. And so this is live, we can mute it as well. And so what will happen now is that anything going out through the master bus is going to be received back in and come to this track. Now I'm gonna mute it so it doesn't double up the audio on us, but you'll see if I click the play, we have level on the send and level on the receive. So this is going out over the internet, back from the internet, back into this particular DAW and onto this track here. And I'll just quickly take this off and you're going to hear it duplicates. And it's because there's some latency involved, right? So we don't want to have um, them both playing at the same time. There's going to be some latency. I have my Orion 32 here set up on 32 samples and it's at 0 0.67 milliseconds. So virtually nothing on the local side, but it does have a little bit of latency when you send it out. The idea is if you were sending this to someone, they're listening and latency doesn't matter. Or if you were sending out a, a part of a mix to someone and you wanted them to do a live recording on their end, so you had a vocalist remotely recording, they could do that, they'd record local, and then you'd bring the file back into your DAW session and you'd sync everything up and you'd be all set. So that's the most basic way to do it. This is not particularly how I would normally use this though. So I'm going to go ahead and close the stream. And the way you do that on the remote side, just click leave and it's going to disconnect. And on the send side, local, when you click leave, it's going to ask you if you want to terminate the stream. And so you're going to go yes and do that. And I'll close both of those. And I'm actually going to get rid of these plugins. And I'll show you what I would personally use this for more than anything else. So again, I'll remove this track. So we're starting right from the beginning. What I like is the ability to set up various buses so that I can get different mixes. And so I'm just gonna add a bus channel here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna call this uh, instrumental. So I'm gonna send only instrumental. And, and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm actually gonna send, uh, I can set up sends to send this to this particular bus, or I can leave, uh, I can do that on the main outputs as well. We'll go into sends here, uh, destinations, and I will just go ahead right to the bottom, which is where I have this instrumental. I'm going to do the same thing on the other two instrumental channels here. And you can see where you could set up a variety of mixes here 
The other thing that's kind of an interesting application is if you were using this in a studio, you could have a variety of mixes being sent out with WaveStream and then the musicians could actually have receive it over their iPhone with a set of headphones and have their own remote monitoring inside the studio. So kind of a kind of an interesting uh, uh, potential tool for this. Now what I have is I, I'm duplicating the instrumental to this bus. Now I can go onto the bus here and I can go and have that wave stream plugin again the send stereo. And so now anything that comes to this bus is going to be sent out over the stream, right? Which is, is again, very useful. Now, once again, the same thing, I can go ahead and send this to a DAW or I can send this to an iPhone. So I could set up a, an, you know, another track here and uh, we can have the receive coming in. So I'll just quickly do that for you. As the stream stereo receive, I'll pin that right now. Once again, I'm gonna start the stream by clicking the power button in the middle and I would send the URL out to whoever's going to use it here because it's remote. I'm just going to do it all in one place and we make the connection between the two of them and it's here. And what you'll see now <clears throat> is that whatever's coming to the bus here is going to go come back in through WaveStream into this receive track that I've set up. And so we've, we have that coming. What I'm going to do is I'll mute the master bus and you'll see that if I go ahead and unmute, I have level coming through here. The signal's coming through both sides. Again, I have the muted here on the audio output, so we're not doubling things up. But here's an example of how you can do this with a bus. Really the same kind of idea as what I did before with the master. Just now I have control of which tracks in the session that I want to send out. So really useful there. That's how I would normally use this. But there are other applications. We certainly, if we didn't want to have you know a remote DAW and we were just sending things out to an iPhone, what we could do is, and I'll, I'll get rid of again this this uh, remote track, if you will, that I've that I've created here. But we still have the stream happening here, and what I can do is send that link to an iPhone. So what I would do is I just copy the link, and then I would go ahead and I would email that out to uh, to someone on an iPhone. And so now over on the iPhone, it's just a matter of clicking a link that was sent in the email. That will bring up the Waves application. We just click to connect. And now we're going to have streaming audio coming from the DAW into the iPhone. And so if I'm back in the DAW and I click play, you see that anything that's going into the bus again is going out through WaveStream. And you see the signal coming into the iPhone. So now that I've shown you how to set this up, I have a demonstration. So what we have is, of course, this MixFX bus with the three instrumental tracks going into it. That is being sent out through WaveStream, and then I have it coming back in through WaveStream into this other track. So normally you would do this with two separate DAWs in different locations. I've set it up here on one screen so you can see it easily. What I've also done is I've gone from the Waves outstream to an iPhone with the link, and so I've recorded that in because we can't stream to both simultaneously, but it'll give you an idea. What we should hope for is the DAW to DAW stream should sound exactly the same, whereas the DAW to iPhone stream is going to sound like an iPhone sounds. So it's going to have the characteristics of iPhone, which is very useful if you want to use this for listening back to the sound through various playback devices. So we'll go ahead and listen to, I'll compare the two. We'll start out with the original again, what's going out. Then I'll go to the uh, DAW to DAW. Now there is a small amount of latency as we go back and forth here. So if you're using this for remote collaboration, you'd have the person on the other end, for example, recording locally, and then you can mix the files back together. But in terms of being able for them to say, sing along with the instrumental I'm sending out, they certainly could do that. And again, record on their, on their end. 
Now it's a very small amount of latency and I currently have my interface here set up with only 32 samples. I have 0.67 milliseconds of latency on the Orion 32 Plus Gen 3. So the system here on this end is very fast. Of course, it's just because we're sending this out through the internet, there's gonna be some latency, even on the same system. So now I'll go ahead and I'll show you what it sounds like on the iPhone again. Now this is pre-recorded, so I've matched them up and synced the, synced the two up, but nonetheless, you'll hear the difference in the frequency response. Watch the decibel meter here to see a visual difference. And so of course there's a noticeable difference. The iPhone does not have the same frequency response necessarily as going directly from DAW to DAW. Because what I did with the iPhone is I recorded the music from the iPhone coming back into my Orion 32. So I ran a connection from the uh, from the iPhone out to the analog inputs on the on the Orion to make this recording. And so that would be the headphone response you'd be listening to if you had it uh, connected up to a set of earbuds or otherwise. Overall works really well. I have no trouble connecting with this. I tried this on a number of different systems, uh, two different computers working one, one even connected on a hotspot on my phone and it worked that way. So if you're somewhere remote and you want to do this, that would work as well. So overall, this is a pretty effective solution if you're trying to send music to a client or collaborate with a session musician remotely, this is gonna get the job done for you. Now, of course, Wavestream is a little more of a specialized application than many other plugins. But if you do remote collaboration with anyone, whether it's you sending audio to them, them sending audio to you, live sessions and recording happening on either side, it can be really easy to use and a simple way to get that done. The use for the phone also could be an advantage if you wanna use it for testing your mix on a phone. Again, if you wanna send audio to a car system, something like that. Testing your mixes on a variety of playback devices is never a bad thing. And this can help you out with that as well. So I encourage you to check it out if collaboration or remote audio is something you need. And if you're looking for other ideas for plugins or hardware for your music production, check out one of the videos on the screen. As always, you know I appreciate you joining me and I hope I see you next time.